That was a good talk. That was an excellent talk. So I got to tell up to the Tina Mata. We had her on for the first episode of Good Talk. So I got to tell up to her as well. Right now we're waiting on our second guest tonight, Avalon Gomez. She has something, how to say, it's for empowerment of women. It's for women, by women. You understand? But tonight, let's get into it ASAP. So right now we're waiting for Avo to line up and jump in. Hold on, hold on. Easy Abdiel. Nice. Hi, good day. Are you there? Hi. Hi, Avo. Good night. Good night. How are you doing on this wonderful, wonderful day? This wonderful, wonderful evening. I am great. Today was such a restful day. Plenty rain, which means plenty sleep, right? You know, well, not really. I I didn't have that um, that luxury. I didn't have that that luxury of sleeping today. Well, I got to enjoy that luxury because I had a very hectic week. Yeah, well, we had that too. I know about that. I know about that. So, do we have a good talk now? Of course, I love your cactus and your blazer. You make me run up. No, well, it says it's a different. It's a different. It's a different side. It's a different scene. It's the same spot, but you know. It's a talk show, so we gotta do it different, eh? Okay. So I heard right. You. So, Avo, I would like you to introduce yourself to everyone who's tuned in, because right now we have some guests from the last live, mm -hmm. plus this one. So reintroduce yourself for the people that don't know. All right. Hi guys. So I am Avalon Gomez. I am a brand strategist, business coach and the founder of Empower Her Business Academy. Yeah. Papa. <laughs> so last time, yeah. when you blessed us with, with your knowledge, mm -hmm. right, we had to stop the top. We had to stop, actually, but now we want to do a continuation. We want to dive into it one time. Oh, one time, one time. Boy. All them have huh? Who's that? Of oh, course. <laughs> <laughs> that is our love, you know. You know, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a thing, it's a vibes. Right, so let's jump into it one time on of Good course. Talk today with Avalon Gomez. Our yes. first question to find out about the 2020 woman What does the new woman want in a relationship, in work, and with her future? Okay, so the 2020 woman. What any 2020 woman should want in any relationship, be it spiritual relationship, business relationship, personal relationship with spouse or even friends, number one should be stability. We want stability. We want peace. And we want balance. In everything, we must have balance. Every relationship. And I think, put it simply, that's what we want. That's what Back. we need. My laptop just fell off. Wow. Yeah, my that wasn't my... That wasn't no. us at Good Talks. Okay. Because we don't, we don't have any laptop in our insurance agreement yet, no. But don't worry. Soon. 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 All right. So in a nutshell, we say balance. Yes. So ladies, balance. We have balance here. The last show, we said action. You must do some kind of action to change the situation you are in. Mm -hmm. And of course, as Ms. Gomez said... Balance. All right. And no peace. five. Go ahead, you go ahead, you go ahead, you go ahead. Go ahead. I said and peace. Don't forget peace. Peace is oh, priority. Peace. Yes. peace is priority. You, you know? Yeah. You can't be living and, and at war with yourself and at war with others as well, you know. You have to have peace. True. Exactly. And of course, guys, taking this info, eh? Guys, I doing this for we, for us. For us <laughs> guys. Right? Um uh, next question. Five tips. What five tips would you tell a woman 
that hasn't realized that it's 2020. What would, what five tips would you give her for her to reach her greatness? I would say one, wake up. Like wake up. It, it, it is 2020. This is a new era. This is a new life. We're in a, a whole new norm now, you know? We can't act the same. We can't do things the same. We can't, we can't be who we used to be, right? Mm -hmm. So one, I would say wake up. Two, I would say, listen, find purpose. Find purpose. A lot of women say they don't have a purpose or they don't know how to find their purpose. And it's pretty easy to find your purpose, you know? Tap into you. Take time for yourself. Find clarity. Find Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Sit down and really meditate. Like 10 minutes every day could do so much for you, for your mind, for your body, for your business. So meditate, you know, form community with persons. That is also very important because people need people. We can't do everything alone. We need people. And number five is just do it. Work action. Out. Yeah, mm -hmm. just take action. Once you believe it, you could achieve it. So start believing and start achieving. You know, wow. there's no wow. time. Like, I keep seeing people saying um, 2020 is the worst year ever. And not, I cannot see it like 20. I'm not seeing it. Nope. There's no better time to be alive. Alive. None. There's no better time to be alive. 2020 to me, is amazing. To me, 2020 showed us um, our true selves. Yes. Because at home with yourself, for that, that type of us, mm -hmm. it's an up and mad. Yeah, but if you took that time and made it constructive, and do, how to say way, and you form something like it, there's something I'm telling everyone: if when COVID ever finishes, or if by now after being home for three months, mm -hmm. and you don't have a new talent, you don't have something different on your plate. What were you doing for this last three months? Were you just yeah. sitting home waiting for it to say? Hey, it over, back to normal. Nah. Mm -mm. And if you were doing that, I think you need to set yourself different. Yeah. That, that's just me talking this, about... That this, is, that's what COVID did for me. Yeah, that's true. This was the time to really reevaluate your life, reevaluate mm -hmm. your position, you know? Reconnect with your true self, reconnect with everything around you, and really reassess every situation and build. This was the time to build. Mm -hmm. you have something before this was the time to start something. Facts. COVID, they, it gave us the space for that. COVID gave yes. us the space for that. Yeah. Because before COVID, everyone, I got the time. I work in our school. After school, I have this to do. I have, I have two jobs. I have, I have this, I have that, I have the, the, the. No, you, have, you had no excuse because yeah. you had to stay home. Exactly. And the Wi-Fi and internet was still working. Books were there to read. So what were you doing? Yeah. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. So people, I hope. Abo, where you yeah. going, girl? I don't know what phone's <laughs> thick. Are you seeing me? No, I see the back, the back camera is on. Oh. Yeah. Hi, Abo. Hi. Delicious. <laughs> technical difficulties. <laughs> Come, technician, fix it, you know. This good talk. All I didn't right. even know people was on the live commenting because I wasn't seeing anything. True. My, yeah, my phone was frozen. Oh. Hi, guys. Hi, Coyote. Yes, Again. some still waiting. Hi, Karine. Yeah, some people still waiting for things to go back to normal. But, I mean, this is the new normal. Hi, Alicia. Yes, this is the new normal, you know? You just have to get used to it. And that's a fact. So, now, let's say, I know you don't want to get into Parliament. We're not, we're not going to get into that. Trust me, we're not getting into that. <laughs> right. So, let's say you had an opportunity to, to speak mm -hmm. to all the women in the world. Mm -hmm. Right? What's the first thing you would tell them? 
I talk about women, different races, languages, sizes, colors, everything. Everyone is different. But if you had the opportunity to tell them one thing as an ambassador for empowerment of women, mm -hmm. what would you tell them? I would say, stop downplaying yourself. Don't dumb down yourself for anybody. Don't you know that we possess the greatest power there is, which is being a woman? Oh, true. Yeah. That's what I'll tell them. Like, that is the greatest power. We hold the greatest power. We are women. Women are resilient. Women can do almost anything. Not downplaying men. I know my guy is on the live. Coyote, Dari, and everybody. But, I mean... No. The reason why I would say women are really strong, right? Because you see that thing called child birth? Yeah. Here I'm telling you, I witnessed my son because I went to all the class. La, it's Lamas, right? Lamas? Lamas class, yeah. Yeah, I went to all the classes. He, <laughs> you know, rubbing back, tanging belly. I do all that. I do. So, boom. I think I already, I knew, I, I'm in the hospital in the room, holding her hand, doing while learning Lamas, whatever <laughs> it is called it. And listen, when that, I don't have to call it a thriller, action movie. When that was finished, and she gave birth to my son. Yeah. What Emotional. Is. Emotional? <laughs> what I, tell you. I don't think no man on God's green earth could take that kind of pain. I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> but I mean, let's be honest. Men can't Take the simplest of pains. <laughs> Let's be honest. Okay, okay, Abo. Okay, Abo. But Let's that's go. a different. That is a completely different life. All right, fellas, I come into the fellas now. So uh, let's. What do you mean by men? What do you mean by men? What do you mean by that? Um, I mean, men are givers, but not takers. Full stop. Let's move on and continue with the topics at <laughs> hand. No. Stephen no. pull back. <laughs> I want to know. Just being honest. I want to know what given and who taken what and why and how we can fix it as a man. No. Well, you all need to fix yourself. Like, take some kind of personal intervention and really. You need to meditate. Yeah, you all need to meditate. It works. You see, we What's train that? with pain. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? I've already to start to go, you know. Yeah. I'm already for uh, ready. Uh, start. Abo, tell us. Tell us, please. Because, okay, women do what they do. Men, mm -hmm. we do what we do. Mm -hmm. Right? But there's no common ground, like no meeting. No meeting point. So maybe you know, in, in, in a short, as I was saying with Latina, in a nutshell, how can we meet to make how women watch men different? Because I'm sure you are not the only woman that says um, that said that men they can't take this and they could only do that. And what can men do mm -hmm. other than meditating and finding yourself? What could a man do to 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 better his relationships? Or ship with a woman. Communicate more. Communicate more with women. Now, or when you say communicate, yes. you mean WhatsApp message or dinner and thing? Which one you mean? No, or I you mean, mean I, I mean in front of the talk. Real, I mean real conversations, like okay. real conversations. It doesn't have to be just WhatsApp. Men love to just text WYD. Woman, what I mean, we want to talk about more, we want to know more. Um, what does that mean? What is WYD? I think what you're doing or something well, that's news to me. Men, men love to text that, and I mean, women want more, women want deep conversations. We, we, we want to know about things that happen in the world. We, we want to talk, we want we communicate. A lot of problems could be solved with communication. 
Yes, and many to, you see, many to start thinking holistically. And it can't be a... Go on. A, it can be a, I'm a man, you're a woman thing. It can be, I'm a man, you're a woman thing. Because women need men just as much as men need women. Facts. You understand? So it can be, I'm a man, and you're a woman, and everybody ah. trying to be headstrong and be the powerhouse. Mm. You know? Let's meet each other halfway. Let's communicate and let's get it done. Guys, I hope I hope I hope you are listening, eh? cause I'm actually writing. I'm writing this down, eh? right? <laughs> All right. So let's let's don't stay on that topic because I I'm seeing it in Avo's face. She's ready to just rinse out fellas right now, you know. No, no, no. I just stay clear, man, Papa. Clear, clear. I hope it go, man. Wow. Oh, yes. Look, you see? You see my tribe? Communicating is one thing, but listening is another thing. Girl, let's not go there. Men are hardened. Let's leave them alone, please. That is another Okay. Time. So you and this tribe. <laughs> you and this you and this tribe. Since the last show, you and this tribe. Tribe this and all right. Yeah, my tribe. So, my tribe don't play. No, big up the tribe. I have to send it up to the tribe because any the tribe, anytime you're on your life, the tribe coming on and support it. I feel I I believe the day you do a live with someone and there actually is a a, a real scene, your tribe will pop up on the live. Eh? Your yeah. tribe will defend it to the last. Yeah. And I wanna for the tribe. I'm sure that is what I'm sure one or two live in very close to you, so don't even think about disrespecting on this live. We start, we start, we start. I live with Listen, listen, why, why, why? Come, Avo, you know, I'm not... We just having fun, we just having fun, see? Try. <laughs> nah, but uh, it's, it's, and that's what I said about community. See how important community is? Mm -hmm. It's important to have that group of people that support you and that you, in return, support. That is very important. Balance. That is Balance. what we need. Yes. We need balance. I tell Avo, I tell Avo that you run for anyways. Avo don't want to be in politics. No. So now this question, I gave it to Latina. Mm -hmm. She had it in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. Now I want to throw it on you. This question. Right? Mm -hmm. How women deal with the imposter syndrome or in simpler terms, self-doubt. Okay. So, imposter syndrome or self-doubt is something that you need to own. Right? First of all, you need to own it. You can't, you can't run from it. You need to own that, listen, I do doubt myself. This is a fear. This is something I battle with. We, we all have it. We all fight imposter syndrome. We all battle with self-doubt, right? Accept it. Be kind to yourself. Don't beat yourself up over it. There are people that literally send themselves into depression over the fact that they have fears or they do doubt themselves, right? Mm -hmm. So own it. Be kind to yourself. Stop trying to be perfect. Puppet. Stop trying to be perfect. Nobody is perfect. Instagram has set a very dangerous precedence with that because we watch people on Instagram and we always want to be like them or mm -hmm. what they pose to be, right? And sometimes when we don't live up to that expectation, in our mind, it sends us into depression and it raises our fear. So let it go. Let it go. Stop look to Instagram, especially for validation. Stop look for validation on the whole. Validation is for parking, full stop. <laughs> I always tell people that. I tell all my clients that validation is for parking. Do not look for it. Oh, it. All the Avo is now a comedian. No, it's the facts. I love it. It's the facts. Continue, Avo. Continue. It's the facts. Mm -hmm. So do not look for, for validation. All right, guys? That is for parking. Stop trying to be perfect. Focus on you. Right? Deal with your mindset. Visual visualization works miracles. Your vision. Think, yes. Yes. It works miracles. Right? Another way is just do things. Jump. 
I would tell, when people tell me they are scared, right? I would always tell them, just jump. Two things could happen. You could fall, or you could what? You could what? You could fly, you right? You land on your feet, yeah, yeah. No, you could fall, or you could, you could, you could fall, or you could fly, right? And oh, you have yeah. to ensure that they fly, not you? True. You know you don't want to fall. You don't want to hit your yeah. Maximum so effort to fly, yes? Make sure you fly. Same thing, if you're lost, people like to say they're lost. So I was tell them, when you're lost, do you want to stay lost? Run out of food, you can't bathe, so you start to smell, body deteriorating, that kind of thing? Or mm. you're going to take action and take every possible step to get out of that. So we as people right. to make the decision to let go of our fears and just take action. Just jump. Just, just jump. jump. Coyote. We will just fly. Jump. Trust me. Just jump. We will Coyote, fly. jump, Coyote. Jump, Coyote, jump. <laughs> Coyote, boy. Coyote, I need to give Coyote a medal. Coyote, been jumping. No, he's a good no coyote is a good one. Let's be honest. Yeah. Kayo has did everything that he has put his mind to, he has um he has did. Yeah. So Big man thing, you know. Boxing. Yeah, so kudos to Kayo. Easy Kayo. Better add an interview one of these days. I'm not thank you. Anyways, <laughs> so I have, a, I have two more questions for you. No problem. Uno and dos. Okay. I would like you to choose which one you want to answer first. And second, I'm just going to lay out the question for you. Okay. The question is, how can the same thing, at, 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 uh, how to put it, boy? I'll put it the same way I spoke to Latina about it. Mm -hmm. You have the opportunity to talk to every man in the world. <laughs> Lord, only hear that laugh, Jesus. Right. This one platform mm -hmm. to get all this one in piece of information to get in all men up here. And it will stay. For some reason, what you will say will stay here. What would that be? And it's the same question, but with women. So it's the two in one. What would you tell men? And then, what would you tell women? Because remember, we're in 2020. Things are changed. Mm -hmm. Not changing. The shit has changed. Yeah, it has it done changed. Change. It changed. They're not changing. Right? So mm -hmm. what would you want men to know about the 2020 woman? In one shot. Men... We are coming for everything. Jesus. Somebody said, take back that question. Somebody take said, back that question, please. You said in one shot. <sighs> I Thank have, you, Abu. I, I mean, I have been at tables where the coyote, coyote embarrassed. But <laughs> coyote, you know me, raw. I have been at tables. I've seated at tables with me being the only woman mm. and men being intimidated because I don't need to be loved to be heard and I am not going to cave and they know that and I know the value I bring. So when you know the value you bring, you could could affect men. Mm. Men think or some men, I would say, think that women don't deserve a seat at the table. But we do. And of course, we are coming of course. for every single thing. No, wait, no, no. I don't like how I find, I see any smoke when you say coming for everything. I see that no. smoke like, ah, it rides. Right ah. Oh, my plan. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Ah. You want these cactus? Oh, they love me and my cactus now. Nah. Love me and my cactus them now. Nah. Love the thing. Whoa. So, when you mean coming for everything, yeah. you mean like... You I, know mean, what, I mean... You know what, 
mm -hmm. you know, before, because you said the 20th, 20th woman, right? Or like yes. the 20th century woman and the 20th mm -hmm. century men. Before, in both male and female relationships, um, it had these, the stigma that men would do this, women would do this. Mm -hmm. Men have to do these type of jobs, women have to do these type of jobs. Yes, we I'm spoke about that before, yeah. This is 2020, and we could do anything. Women could do anything, and we are coming to do anything, and we are coming for everything. Everything you thought we don't deserve, everything you thought that we can't get, we are coming for it. Some of us. Some of us. But like I said, some men, because there are men that truly understand that women are amazing. No, because me, once you put in the work and you ready for yeah. it, come to the table. Yeah. You could even help me reach the table as well. Because well, we have the same goal. Remember you know? now? I think now what's going to happen and and um you will see it for yourself. Women will be bringing the table and we will invite men to sit at the Ooh. table. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, my back. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. Just yeah. Like bringing the table. This we is are, why you need no to go more, for politics. No more. It's no more men have to do this and women have to do that. Level playing field. So you bring in the whole table. Whole table. But that's fun. That'll be a fun table. That's the table I want to be on. Yeah. That's the action table. Action table. That is the table when you know for sure you will leave with new knowledge. Of course. That is the table for sure. If you mm. went in with a thousand dollar idea, you'll be leaving with a million dollar idea. Of course. Because I've realized that men together, <laughs> men should. together are positive, you know. They all, they right. all, yeah, we're going to do this. They yeah, want the same thing. They but the end result time. is, the end result is falling short. Yeah. Somebody falls short somewhere. But you know who doesn't fall short? Women. No, we do sometimes. We do sometimes. Women. We do sometimes. They are wilding on this live. Eh? They said we are bringing the dining the dining set. Yeah, we're bringing some extra chairs on the side. <laughs> and we are the captors here, for ambiance. Um, women do sometimes, but I think women could pick themselves back up faster than men. We don't, we don't like dwell in our sorrows so much. You see, once we find ourselves and we fix that mindset and we understand our power, game over. Hmm. Hmm. Papa. This is really a good talk. Yeah. Um, somebody said, I like how she brought that across, but what about the women who are capable of doing any and everything but aren't willing to step up to the plate? Lucas, those women are the women that need to realize their power and their purpose. Find clarity within themselves and stand in their power. A lot of women are not standing in their power. They are not being themselves. Again, because of imposter syndrome. We are always worried about what somebody will think, what somebody mm -hmm. will say. You know, how this will make somebody feel. No. Think about how it will make you feel. What do you want? What do you think? That's what matters, you know? And because you're doing it for yourself, too. Yeah. To better yourself. Of all course, right. for you, we're back both broad. Broad. So, that was the men. Yeah. So, now, for the woman, now, let me add on a bit more. She's stuck in the 1990s. So, you know mental is... Yeah. Pardon? You asked this already. I did. Mm -hmm. Sure. You see, like I stuck I stuck in the beginning of the show. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, just just give us what you would tell the woman. And then you could leave us with some last notes. You could let them follow you. Give them your Instagram handles and all those stuff. Right? Then we'll take our picture. And that's it. Okay, no problem. Mm. So my woman, my ladies, y'all know. As always, what I tell you all is find the master. Find the one responsible for everything. Responsible for you, responsible for it all. Find Jesus and he will lead you. He'll lead you to purpose. He will lead you to peace most of all. Also, 
do not be ashamed of your story. Your story is your power. Your story is what you have. Your story is you. Own your story. Stand in your power. Be amazing. And if you're having problems with any of those things, then you all know where to find me. Find me at I am Avalon Gomez on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I am Avalon Gomez on Facebook. My DMs are always open for business. And I know most of you will have my WhatsApp. If not, it is on my profile. Just message me. I'm always here. I love you. Thank you, Latoya. Love you too. Good talk, boy. I love it. <laughs> yeah, you, I love you it. did something really good here. I, I must, must commend you, you know? No, well, this is, this is the reason why I wouldn't mind sitting at the female table yeah. because you are uh 40% 35.99999% because of you this is here because after our talk this Saturday I realized that you can't do music Sunday <laughs> you can't do music Sunday Monday Thursday and Saturday you need to mix it up yeah. And I always mm -hmm. wanted to have a talk show. Very so good. I came up with the concept and I decided I would bring back the person that helped me realize and take that action. Avalon Gomez, so I want to thank you. Of course. For assisting for me to starting my my talk show. You know? Coyote is not being nice right now to you. He says you're a dummy. Avo saved you. I don't save it him. I just made him realize and be innovative there's which, more which is my reason which is my reason there's more we there's more we can do with this power you know because everyone has wi-fi i believe 80 percent of the public has an iphone and all we all do is watch people back on our videos watch funny videos maybe research a big word somebody said earlier in the week just to get the meaning of it <laughs> and um, music. and music. No, nothing is wrong with doing these things. Mm -hmm. But if somewhere in the brain you feel you could do something, as Latina said, take action. Yeah. As Avo said, take the jump. The yeah. most that will happen is you fall or you fly. Yeah. And right now, good talk. We fly it. We fly in. And, and the only person that could bring none good talk from flying is me. It's you. So you have and to make sure. You have to make no. sure. I, I have some wings outside there with a little jet pack, you know. I'm going far. <laughs> um, I, fly, I fly. We have a question. I'll... Latoya, I have a question. Sure. What can a man do if his woman overrides authority in the home? What can a man do if his woman overrides authority in the home? Um, Latoya, so I'm not a, a therapist or oh, psychologist or anything and i really hate commenting on on relationship things or man and woman thing but seeing that che brought it up mm -hmm. um what can a man do what would you say a man could do if a woman overrides authority in the home i don't, first of all women need to understand they need to let men be men also eh? women can be a bit controlling and bossy you know we a bit a sometimes bit? A bit. a bit a bit so women need to understand that men are needs to be men and give them their space to be men sometimes as women we can make men feel small or yeah we can make men feel small some men don't know how to deal or treat with a powerful woman so we True. need to also understand that you know balance what, yeah what would you say she's her question was what can a man do if a woman overrides authority in the home first to begin i want to know what do you mean by override authority because it is not is not is not jail or you at it's not a, a 500 company what do you mean by overrides the authority does he have rules and regulations does well, he have a curfew so you have to be to me to me you have to be 
She said it's not personal, but I honestly find women tend to hold a great big control in the home, especially financially. Some men feel less of a man. You see, so same thing I said. We ego. Yeah, we have a way. And remember, men, men say women are emotional, but men are very emotional creatures also. Especially of course, when yeah. something when things affect their ego, they hate that. And they will act out in different ways. True. You know? Yeah. So let a man be a man. Let him hold his own, do his part. You know, there are some women I've seen, um, well, in movies, you know, sometimes when you watch movies and the, sometimes the woman is making more money than the man. And every mm. time they go out, she wants to pay and this and that. And I mean, that in itself sometimes could, I mean, have some slack men that don't care. But any, <laughs> any man who's really a man, right? That will bother him. The fact that yeah, one, of course, already making more money than me. Two, every time we go out, you have to pay. So, woman, why we can't meet them halfway? Even if it's to slip them the money before you all reach dinner. So they can Yeah, pay. to make it look, you know? Yeah, I mean, to make it look a type yeah, of it. So let's, not, let's not do that to our men. I would, I would say, I would say, as, as you said, um, let, let a man be a man. And, of course, meet halfway. Yeah. Communicate, reason. Reasoning to me is a big part of it because if you don't come to the same agreement yeah it, because in my head we could be good because we had a small talk but in your mind you didn't really come out and say anything so you already you still thinking bad and i'm thinking that we good so i'm moving normal and because we didn't properly communicate, we didn't communicate have a, yeah. you know so we need to we need to we need to fix that communication Come a S A P. We need to. And men, seeing that it was brought up, I just have a small tip for y'all, right? You go now, girl. You tell me I tip. Know, go. I know that sometimes y'all think probably um, not talking is saving things. It is not because that's not communicating, mm. right? So you know sometimes men will think, okay, I don't want to hear this, and they would walk away. And think, well, this is me trying to save things or keep peace. No. That is you adding insult to injury. Communicate. Listen. Yeah. So if, so if the guy knows, mm -hmm. if he tells the woman what's really on his mind, that she will that? trip. That she, and, and he knows if he tells her that she's going to trip the f off. Mm-hmm. And he's just not telling her to, to prevent bacchanal and rab and commerce. And he's just keeping things, keeping to him himself to prevent that. Guess what would what? you say about that part? She's going to trip off anyway because you are walking away from her and the conversation, which is now you ignoring her. So she's going to trip off anyway. And I always say, right, if you have something to tell somebody, right? It's better you tell them. It's better they hear it from you. They might True. be angry. They might be angry, but they will understand and it will wear off. They will appreciate the fact that you said it and you were honest. They would not, women would not appreciate that you walk off. They would not appreciate True. being ignored. And they definitely would not appreciate hearing it on the outside from anybody else. So best. Coming back in, yeah. True. You know? But this is not a relationship live. For real, this is good talk, and of course... But it's good talk. It's all good talk. And we just I want to talk. thank you, Avalon. Of course. of course. For coming through. And before you leave, I would like you to let everyone know mm -hmm. about what exactly you all do at Empower. 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 And it's, it's getting mixed up. But that bad, though. Empower. That bad. You yeah. know, like all the... I know you all do fundraisers, charity, you yeah. all assist with communities, you all assist with um well you you tell them and yeah. tell them your Instagram, let them follow you. So if you all women if you women need that empowerment, I will is a girl. So I will let them know. You must try it correct and yeah, they empower her. Don't make any mistakes. See my tribe there, they don't play. Listen, try. <laughs> I humbly apologize. <laughs> And I retracted the mistake, okay? I apologize. <laughs> all, is, all is forgiven. 
Nice. So at Empower Her, we mm -hmm. are entrepreneurship advocates. So we advocate for female entrepreneurship. Um, we mentor female entrepreneurs and we also do business and branding. So we have the brand and business boot camp. You know, we will share all inspiration. We have our our WhatsApp group where you know it's like our own community of women supporting women. Mm. Yeah. So Empower is like the Caribbean hub for female entrepreneurs. You see? Yeah. And we this also, is what Yeah. We also and... do philanthropy. I'm big on philanthropy. So that's how you will see me involved in a lot of community activities. Mm -hmm. A lot of community relief so every time something happens whether it's flood when it had covid anything you would see empower taking that first step in community relief hmm yeah and that's great 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 work empower her empower 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 her yes empower. Oh, did i say that right? we just launched our entrapper here collection so you all should go to our instagram page at empower underscore academy click the link in the bio to view full catalog Papa. yes yes well avo i want to thank you thank you so much for having me of course of <laughs> course and once my vision comes to pass mm -hmm. i will have you live again eh? I would not be going up for MP or counselor or anything of the yes. sort. However, I would forever be walking in my purpose and sharing with my people. Okay? Forever. Good. Forever. On any platform. Thank you so much, Lucas. And thank you to everybody else on the live. Everybody. Just thank you so much for always being so engaging and staying in tune with me and, of course, with Good Talk. <laughs> right, so I've, one, yeah? yeah of course of <laughs> course so Avo, i'm gonna yeah. thank you again for taking this time out of your relaxing relaxing saturday <laughs> you know to share this wonderful wonderful advice to everyone who tuned in and who's going to be watching the live yes after after you know Guys, so i am avalon gomez fun yes. fun fun over there Follow her and ladies, fellas. All the, fellas, all the message me for assistance. Now. I, I, yeah, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, I, I feel I'll do that. Nah, just joking. Nah, just joking. I'm, I'm just the good talk guy, right? So Avalon, yes. let me, let me find my song. What my song good? I was looking for, believe it or not, I was looking for a song. Uh, um, who run the world? Cause but I didn't find it. I'm sorry. You know, next time, next time, next time for show, for show, for show. <laughs> I, need to, I need to find right, nice. So, Avo, yes, thank you, no and of course, have a wonderful night. With Enjoy it. Yeah, we're posing for the picture here. Oh, shucks, the picture, I don't forget the picture already, and she yes. will pose it up, you know. Okay, yeah, see, I don't tilt my head to the side. Sure. Yes. Oh, no, they have one good side, Latina. What's he saying? <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let me see if we get us. I gave me glare, boy. Give me glare. Pick up your glare. flash. Nah, that's the ringy thing. That's the small thing. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Siri, nobody at all. <laughs> Siri, fast. Siri, like she want to be me good talk. Hey. Right, so Avo. Oh, that's our stroke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Avo. Thanks Thank a you lot. so much, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Baby, let me come true for a while. I've been out there, I've been searching for a while. Baby, let me come. Sometimes you've been out there, you've been searching for a while. She's just a sex. So, of course, guys. Um. That was Good Talk. Our first episode. Well, it's a two-in-one. So, our first two episodes. Um, Our next episode, I want to let you all know what exactly it's going to be. But, nah. 
ain't gonna tell you, but that topic, woo! Hi, hi, hi! That topic gonna be a good talk. So share be live, spread the word, good talk on the scene with yours truly, Shay Amun. We out. Why, why, yeah. She said I gotta deserve it. I gotta really be working. But girl, all I want is just one thing. I just really need one thing. Drop it on down, maybe put it down on me. Let me see what you could do with that. Work out. Let me work it on it. I'll be back.